What do we do, y'all? We're back at it again. It's the squad. Louis D, Dan Lee the Manly. That boy, what were you going by? Chester? <laughs> what? Are you really? Uh, <laughs> that boy, Caesar. Because he a fool. And Ocho the Video Game, back at it again with another podcast. Got Caught Thinking, episode four. Week four, I'm episode eight. Damn, bro. We'll probably stop counting yeah. after a while. Yeah. yeah. But I hope everybody's <laughs> doing good. Uh, we're just going to get right into it. Today we're going to be talking about uh, Biden. We're going to be having our usual would you rather questions. Uh, our segment, One Gotta Go, rapper edition. Uh, we're going to be making our football picks, the NFC and AFC championship games. And we're going to be starting our new segment that we will be returning every week not like the other segments where I say we're gonna start doing them and we only do it once <laughs> but this one's gonna stick uh, Mount Rushmore where we give our top four of a certain category we'll get into all that later but um, let's kick it off with our new president Joe Biden can you bust that thing for Joe Biden <laughs> one time the new president of late uh, so Joe Biden's inauguration was yesterday. Seemed pretty boring. Two days. Ago. Was it yesterday? Was it two days? Ago. Oh, it was nah, two it was days. Wednesday. Ago. Three days ago. Wednesday. That was one. Was it three days ago? It was yeah, it was past. four days. Ago. That was three <laughs> days ago. My concept of time is three days. Ago. I don't know. It, it was sometime. Well, you guys don't know because this was uploaded probably a week after. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> Biden's, <laughs> inauguration, matter. Biden's inauguration was just a few days ago. Uh, wasn't really interesting. Uh, we're not too J-Lo. J-Lo was looking mighty fine. As always. But that woman is old, bro. Oh, I, I don't, She's like 50. I don't matter. Yeah, at least 50. Hey, they need love too. Hey. Yeah, well, she's like menopause age. But <laughs> I don't know what I that mean, is. She's still... She's still Got looking, caught. <laughs> she's, she's still looking good. The rest of it was boring. It was just honestly just... Political stuff. Same old thing. Yeah, Biden went up there talking about unity and stuff. I'm not downplaying what he was talking about, but I mean, it was just what yeah. a politician's supposed to say. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to talk about that just <laughs> for a little bit. What do you guys think about Biden? Do uh, you guys know any changes he's going to make? What do you guys think about all of that? Um, he's already put, uh, made a few changes already. Yeah. With what? He stopped the pipeline thing. Oh, yeah, the Dakota yeah. Uh, XL? Something like that. Yeah. That they were, I don't know if you remember a couple years ago that they were trying to stop it and they were like hosing down people, like in like freezing water, like trying to stop it and they passed it anyway. Um, but they, he, they finally stopped that. Um, what does it do? <laughs> he stopped the it's a pipeline? Well, it's there they were, yeah, uh, no, uh, I mean, they were hosing people it? down. Well, like they, there was this land they wanted to build a pipeline for like oil and stuff, and the people were like, no, it's like sacred lands. It was native like native land. people, yeah. Oh, so the natives, okay. And they were like, they stopped that. He stopped that because like they're native land, so we're gonna stop that construction. And yeah. people are mad because now other people don't have jobs over there. Oh, because yeah. they're gonna hire people to do all that. Thank well, yeah, those people don't have jobs. Yeah, this is the oil industry. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Get in line, bro. A lot of people don't got jobs. Facts, hey, facts, bro. <laughs> Unemployment, facts. Still, it's still a big thing. That's crazy. Uh, I, I did hear he's gonna be supposedly. I want to say he signed, if I read it right, it was like 17 executive orders to start going through of a lot of things yeah. he wanted to start doing. I mean, the most interesting to me were like student loan stuff. Until so they can, uh, yeah. Yeah, canceled them, right? Or like he stopped the payments until... Until September. Yeah, that went through for sure. I know FAFSA has came out and said, y'all don't have to make payments until September 30th. So I'm going to be wild. <laughs> Full locker. I'm coming, bro. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> I don't get Getting dressed for the season. <laughs> that, yo, he started to try and pass the, he said this one's going to take a while, but forgive $10,000 of student loans for everybody who has student loans. $10,000 forgiven. That's obviously not through yet, but that, it's gonna happen, uh, so. the $1,400 yeah. stimulus package going through. I heard there was a, actually a congressman, though, or I'm not even sure if it's a congressman, but somebody who's going to be one of the ones signing off on that, mm-hmm. saying that. Uh, he only wants to do the 1400 stimulus packages for people who get vaccines. Mm. 
So that's tough. I guess I'm getting the vaccine. <laughs> Which yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, they're really forcing that thing yeah. into us, bro. Well, I mean, yeah, he said he said that he thinks that that will be a good way to incentivize broke boys to go get the vaccine. The vaccine yeah. But would y'all Has get it? Has it helped though? The vaccine? Yeah, yeah I haven't yeah. heard anything about it like that. Like it's helped. I heard bells pause yeah. in the first week, and then I didn't hear anything else to say. Yeah. Which probably means it's doing okay. Yeah, <laughs> like I have publicized all the bad stuff. I've had a couple of my friends that they're in, they work in like hospitals and stuff, they're, like nurses and stuff. They're already taking the vaccine. They say, like, it's just like any other vaccine. They feel sick for a couple of days, you know, like, you know, headaches or whatever. And then they just feel better. Um, but it's so far, I mean, that's what everyone's, like, so far, it's, that's been the response is that it's just another vaccine, you know. I hate to say that's enough for me. If yeah. I know various people that's like, hey, I'm taking it, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Not right. yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we talk, I think we talked about that the first episode. Yeah. Sergio, what do you think? You getting the vaccine for 1400 All day. He said. Hey, let me see money, boy. You gonna buy a vowel. <laughs> Show me vaccines. Um, no, but that, what we're talking about the inauguration with Joe Biden, it just, uh, it just felt so more presidential. It like, it felt weird seeing a uh, professional <laughs> yeah. out there speak how it's supposed to something other than Donald Trump. So it is like, it felt weird. It felt like a relief uh, to have, like, you know, someone to actually, so, I don't know. I mean, I don't know Joe Biden, you know, I really... Some type of... Like, I just wanted someone out. Yeah, someone out of just... Don't, Trump was just just trash, so I just, you know... By that watches your one, words, yeah. and not just says... Run yeah, the and so, like, by the looks of it, it kind of looked, you know, he, he made a lot of promises, and by the looks of it, the executive orders, he's been kind of sticking to them, but, you know, we never know. You uh, never know. I mean, that's what people said about, you know, Trump. They're like, hey, you know, give him some time, whatever. Give Joe Biden some time. Maybe he's going to screw up. Maybe he does something, you know. We all don't like him. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, you know, Joe Biden was just a better choice than Donald Trump. But um, by the looks of it, he's doing, you know, he's promised. He, he's doing the executive orders, completing, you know, promises he's doing. Um, so far, okay. Yeah, so. You know what's crazy about that? Biden isn't even a great talker. Yeah, he's stutters too. It's just that Donald. Is, he, he, he can't so, control his mouth. Bro. Yeah. He so just says whatever dumb. he wants. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's just. Like, <laughs> Biden was pretty funny though. He was pretty funny. I'll give him. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was just yeah, stupid. Was oh funny. my! God. It was stupid, yeah. but <laughs> he did put out some oh good memes. Oh my god! Biden was in office. That him playing what was it tennis? Dairy Queen last speech, bro. My man's was orange, bro. He looked like a Cheeto straight up. On his last speech, nah, they they that. overdid the tan, dude. <laughs> they did too much in that thing. Before he left, I think they showed pictures of people that were stealing stuff from the White House. I think. Like they showed they were stealing like, what? I don't know, like I think they saw someone they were stealing like a like a picture. Like they would they show people like leaving the White House with like stuff. And I think one of them was a cast of like uh, of Abraham Lincoln too. And I was like, damn bro, you're what? really cleaning house. That's and it was like crazy. the last the last couple of days. When you said stealing stuff, I thought you meant like toilet paper and, and oh, towels. Nah bro. <laughs> <laughs> it was a guy from, like Abraham Lincoln like a space. A hotel. <laughs> 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 Have y'all ever stole anything from a hotel? Yeah. Well, I mean, just like the, the shampoos and like the soaps, I think. The little uh, uh, toothpaste that they have. Lord forgive me, bro, but the lint roller I have. He ain't gonna forgive me for to that. This day, <laughs> to this day, <laughs> day, I got from a hotel. Jeez, bro, yeah. that thing blasted. It did. You should get the blow dryer. That's that's my next move. <laughs> <laughs> but it comes with point. <laughs> <laughs> What's it? Man. All right, let's get into some would you rather questions. Uh, Sergio hasn't been talking much, so we'll start with him. Okay. By the way, y'all see his shirt. That's probably one of my favorite. That's my favorite out of the three shirts he owns. That he <laughs> 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 but, all right. uh, Sergio, would you rather be able to run up to 60 miles per hour or be able to fly, but you can only fly as fast as you walk right now. What was the first one? No. You, the first one is <laughs> you, can, you can run up to 60 uh, miles an hour. Do I get tired though? 
How, tar- how yeah. tired do I get flying? How tired do I get running? I mean, flying, you'll get as how tired. How is shape I am? The same shape you're in right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the tough one, bro. I can't travel very well. <laughs> yeah, flying, you'll get just as tired as you do from walking. Running, I mean, if you want to reach that top speed of 60, you're going to have to sprint. But you can, you'll probably be able to jog for like, what, 20, 15 miles hover? an hour? Will I be wasting energy hovering? While you're flying? And yeah, like if I fly up and then I get stuck, will I get stuck up there or will I just fall? <laughs> he's making fun of me. You know, you said yes. I travel as I would get tired, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I would fly up instead of forward, it's just, it, tired, it, it'd be like you're walking up. That's what I'm saying. And I get tired up, up top, like on the third floor. And you get tired. Do I, get, if do you I get, stay there or do I fall? No, you you can you can stay. Okay, that's I'll a good question. Okay, I'll stay there. That's a good question. Yes. Yeah. Okay, because if I okay, well, I'm trying to, yeah. to hover, you you don't spend any energy. You're okay. standing. It's okay. just to move any okay. direction. But you get tired of standing too. So if you're already tired and standing. That's how you fall. Right. You fall. I think I would fly. I Why would fly? Yeah. Because running, yeah, you would run fast, but you could also have a car, but you can't fly. So. <laughs> what would you do with that though? Just like, fly up. <laughs> <laughs> just go up. Nah, that's it, wrong. No, I don't know. I mean, and then just hover up there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Would you use it for anything other than just. I mean, it's like, what? what? I can't carry stuff? I'm not strong. <laughs> I mean, like, would, you, would you go into like showbiz or. Would you let? I mean, because the, the FBI is gonna be knocking at your door. The new piss Ooh. angel. Boy. So would they run, but then I would be able to chop. Drip it. angel. <laughs> <laughs> is, is my speed also my movement speed or just my running speed? Uh, it can be it can be your movement speed. It's controllable. <laughs> it, it's controllable. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's, it's controllable to the point where if you want to walk from your room to your kitchen, it's not like, unless you want it to be quick, it, it yeah. won't be quick. You'll okay, you can yeah, walk yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I mean, like, if I, somebody tosses toss me, like, like uh, baseball or something, what I will say. Like, as fast as you want to. Okay. Oh, no, it's, it's not like, like me being a run. Your, your reflexes? Reflexes? Yeah, exactly. Oh, my, like, yeah, my movements. Like, your, my hands. Your, your, my your face, movements so. won't be as fast, but reflexes have more to do with your brain, so. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, okay. Well, not reflexes, but my, my movement, I guess. Yeah, your movement of anything you can make as fast as you want. Okay. That's a sick question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, hey, now you? it's both. I don't know. Now I don't so you can, like, snap your fingers around. super fast. I would say fast? speeding. Yeah. So you rather do stuff run. fast, I'll do stuff speed. So what made you switch? Like what what what's the problem? Because because speed, yeah, I can do everything fast. Like literally pick up, do it. I'm not just running pace freaking fast and mud. But so, something had to go through your head to say I can do this super fast now. I'm going with the speed. Everything. Literally everything. I mean it's everything. But um, if I can travel anywhere fast, I can go anywhere fast. If I can like do anything fast, like do things. But flying is literally just flying up. Or sideways or down. It's like, I mean, fly is like Superman, but you chill. Yeah. Like, same speed as you're walking. Exactly. Going yeah. very slow. And if you get stuck up there and you got a rest, well, you got to get cold. And I'll have to like it. I'll have to go back. Whoa! 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 <laughs> here's, a, <laughs> here's a crazy question, but let's say you're like, have you ever been, have you ever been in your bed or in your room, just like, <laughs> not not buck naked, but like you know maybe just wearing drawers or something, and you said, oh my god, I forgot this in the car, I gotta go get it. Would you, okay. if you had super speed, like would you, would you bother putting anything on, no. or you would run buck oh. naked? <laughs> I don't know if it'll. 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 I don't know if it
Alright, uh. <laughs> booger icicles. <laughs> Maybe. You can pick your nose super quick, so nobody will see. Alright, uh, Caesar, the, ne- <laughs> the next one's for you. <laughs> Would you rather breathe underwater or have night vision? Uh, breathe underwater. Because I can't swim very well. If I drown, then you know I can't breathe in the water. <laughs> said. I, I mean, I don't mind at night. What the heck am I going to do at night? I ain't Batman. You could be Batman. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 I hey, hey, I'll just stick with breathing underwater. Have you ever been in a situation where you'll, you've nearly drowned though? Yes. How many? Um, Is it that big of an one issue? One good one where it, it traumatized me. Oh, so okay. I don't like going in deep like that. So that's why you'd rather... Breathe in the water. Yeah. What's that Just one movie? Like, I'm I'm definitely not movie. A show. It's a uh, like a hero movie or show. Like uh, oh, Percy Jackson. No, oh. it has the superheroes that they all have a power, and one of them has the power to talk to fish and go in the water. And he's like the movie. lamest one. Umbrella Academy. I think it is it. I haven't seen it, but I think Umbrella Academy has to do with like. No, he doesn't talk to anyone in the water though. It's about superpowers, but, but it's no, no, it's not down. It's not. It's not down. I don't think the boys. The boys, yes, yes, the boys. But I haven't seen that one. Oh, oh. Yeah, 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 the boys. Okay, so you haven't seen it. Yeah, it's literally the one. Like, there's like a group of heroes. Super eight. Like four, like seven of them, and uh, one of them is one that can speak to fishes and swim underwater like super, super fast and whatever. But he's like the latest oh, one. Like, Shark point lava girl. <laughs> 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 The new shark that I was But yeah, that is pretty whack. I mean, he gets put in. He has like the uh, thingies. I, I, I ain't gonna Those be all that. I'm just gonna breathe in the water. <laughs> I want to hear about this story because I feel like it's pretty whack. No, when, when, when my reasoning is for you to be that traumatized to say I, I'll never drown again, so I'll, I'll breathe underwater. Because that seems like a situation. It might happen once again in your life, if that. You know what I mean? Sometimes yeah, but I mean, I ain't trying to risk it just in case. So what, what happened? How, how'd you almost drown? Um, I think it was in San Antonio. Uh, we were chilling. Uh, me and my cousin were just swimming <laughs> together. And then she's like, all right, I'm going to let you go. You swim by yourself. Won't go over here. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm like, I had confidence wait, in wait, myself. Wait, 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 wait. How, how old were you? I was, was she holding you like that? Yeah. I was. You remember? I was this? young, dude. Yeah, it traumatized me, bro. <laughs> um, I was at least like eight or seven. She's like, I'm gonna let you go. I'm like, all right, cool. I pat her for a second and then I got tired and the, down I go. I was trying to breathe, but the water kept going inside. I was mean, choking. It was tough, bro. Was she was near though, right? Didn't, wouldn't she have gotten you right right away? Uh, she went somewhere else. I don't know where she go, but she let me. She like, yeah, she like, yeah, she let me. She like, yeah, she let me. Like, all right, bro, I'll bring her back. I'm like, cool. I was like that for a second until, you know, I got tired, yeah, it's, yeah. and I was screaming for my grandpa. He was just standing over there, just chilling. <laughs> Yo, this came over here, and he got me. Man, I, I remember that. Yeah. 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 I mean, uh, can you remember that? Because I remember uh, my almost drowning time too. Whenever I went inside the pool, and you know how you like play with the four and five, six feet. And you like, like, oh, yeah, yeah. And he has like a rope in too, so you grab it and you kind of like go. And you're like. Oh. <laughs> But so I did that and then I let go and then I couldn't reach it again. I was like, oh my God, I'm they dead. Are That's it. And then I was just drowning. Like, but I was literally like right next to it. But I, I, you don't think about reaching. You're like, oh God, I'm going to die. And then Jonathan just came and he was outside the pool and he came. Boy took off his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> he was literally outside the pool. He took off his shirt, jumped in. Nah, he, he took off his shirt. He literally just reached in. in. I don't think he knew I was like literally dying. But he was just reaching. He's like, what are you doing? I was like, oh my god, I just died. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you think you're gonna die, and like, oh my god. Yeah, it's scary, bro. It's scary. Once you're, you're safe, you're like, oh my god. I think no, I, 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 I ain't swimming again. I think but I, yeah, I mean, I'm a great swimmer, so because I'm <laughs> so. <laughs> nah, I think I think I died in the same pool that we were talking about. Because I was like, it's like, is that, he's talking about me? Because I was like, I, I had the exact same thing, but. They were out. It was it was them too. It was him and my other brother, and they were talking to someone. And I was like, I was like, hey, you know, they're talking. I'm gonna just walk around. And then I was like, see how far I can go. And I kept going. And I started drowning. I was like, I was calling for them, but they were just out there talking. And I was like, bro, I'm drowning. And they just, bro, I'm drowning. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and then I was the other guy's job. <laughs> and I just kept, I just kept talking. I was like, mm. <laughs> Yeah, so I really just breathe in the water, dog. I ain't going through that. That's okay. I had almost drowned in the stroke, but it didn't traumatize me. I, I just but then I almost drowned. drowned. I took a lot of water. Yes. A lot. Yeah. Uh, that's crazy. All right, Daniel. Oh, that's so, <laughs> the next one's for you. Would you rather be exactly how you are right now? Always. <laughs> Nothing changes. Or win a hundred million dollars, but you die in ten years. Um. So you'd be what? Thirty. I'd be four. Thirty. Thirty. Yeah. Thirty-three. You win a hundred million dollars, uh, and you die in ten years, or you just continue life from here on out. I, I'd rather. <clears throat> I'd rather stay. Uh, I don't know. The more I think about it, it's like, uh, there's just so much to do uh, in this world. I don't think I could do everything in 10 years. Well, I want to do a lot, and I don't think I could do a lot in 10 years. So, well, I mean, I do have $10 million. Yeah, or you have $100 million. A hundred million dollars. Yeah, but I don't also, know. Also, random, Is it worth it random, random just stipulation in there. You can't leave it behind for anybody. Oh. So that well, I, well, okay. Okay. Oh, I can't give it away? You can do whatever you want while you're alive, but once you die... No one else gets that money. No one else gets that money. Can he buy things for people? Yeah, because I mean, I would, honestly, I'm, I, I don't want that much money. I'd probably give most of it away. Because I'd be like, I have, 10, I have 10 years. You can give it away while you're alive. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, I only have 10 it? years, so why, why keep it? What's yeah. the point? But like, for example, if from here to 10 years, if you don't have kids or, or a wife, which I would hope you would... But if you don't, you can't leave it behind for somebody who doesn't exist. You can't yeah, say, yeah, 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 yeah. my kids or my grandkids. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's, that's pointless. I'd just rather stay how I'm at right now. I want to experience life more, so I guess. $100 million. Dollars, you know, yeah, how but it's $100 million. million. No, then, I mean, I only get 10 years. Do you know I... how many lives you can change while you're alive? No, but yeah. <laughs> that's selfish, though. Yeah. At the end of I mean, you, could, you could change your mama's life. No. You could change Sergio's life. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit you say I need more than I that. know um, I mean they could do without yeah. that's fine with me they fine right now yeah nah I'd rather say I mean what am I going to do with all that money I would just give everything away so do I and then I, I, I trade peacefully in peacefully or a peaceful death after the 10 years <laughs> well, yeah he uh, he I just, just died. died. <laughs> <laughs> Drifts into space. And oh, shit. not too much. It's just a painless death. Okay, well, yeah. he dies of drip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. he, he dies from figuring out how to get to the hut. He solves the hut. He solves the mystery. <laughs> no, no, I'm chilling with just me. I'm chilling. Okay. Dope, dope. Nice. Um, I have one for you, Louis. Right. Um, crap, I'm not. Reverse. <laughs> I'm out to look. I'm out to look. Um, I wrote it down. It said, uh, would you rather never see colors again or never taste again? Never see colors or never taste. Yeah. Well, you had COVID, so you know how this feels. I could taste. Oh, I could taste. Clearly. I could taste, really. taste. <laughs> <laughs> hey. taste while I had COVID. Um, so you didn't have to that. I didn't. <laughs> Big boy problems, though. I love to eat. I think, I think everybody here loves to eat. Who doesn't? But... <laughs> loves to eat excessively. Y'all just don't reflect it. But them two don't reflect it. Must be nice. See, that's like he's not thin. Facts. <laughs> but anyways, um, man, be, being being able to t tasting new that feeling of tasting new foods or when you're super hungry and getting a bite of food and it's Wing just stop. oh my god that Wing taste. Stop. Is, Wing stop. But never being able to see colors again. How am I gonna drive? You're not blind. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be able to see red lights. No, you won't see nothing. I think no, 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 I think colors. I think, I, oh, Dude, no black colors and white. No color, black and white. Yeah, that's what you're you saying. Think. Never see colors again. But I think you can see the, the shades. Black, the the uh, pattern. If you're colorblind, you can. Oh yeah, you can still see what light is turned on. Yeah, it's red. Three. <laughs> Brightness is fine. Red, red. Everything's fine. Just colors. colors, black and white. If you're really oh, trying to drive, you can learn. I don't know. 
Or see colors, but don't taste, don't taste, but see colors. I'm gonna say never be able to taste again for two reasons. For one, that'll probably that'll probably help me lose some weight. For two, I've seen some beautiful things, including you. Whoever's watching, <laughs> unless it's my mom. No, you're. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's not what I'm doing. <laughs> no. No, but uh, I, I've I've seen some beautiful sights in my short life so far, and uh, most of them were filled with colors. Like when we went to to Arkansas, when we went to the when we climbed up that hill and see to see the pit, I was having a moment there. I hated it until we ruined it. I hated it because these two ruined it. They were doing the whip. Yeah, <laughs> we were back like in 2015. But, yeah, we but I remember, you know, looking at the view and and the the mountains and the were they mountains or hills? Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. They look like mountains. Big old hill. Yeah, like big old mountains. Uh, just the view of the of the sun and and the bottom of the pit and just nature. And I remember having a moment to myself and thinking, wow. This is beautiful. This is one. real beautiful. Um, and to think there's places like this all over, you yeah. know, and that looks so different. Glaciers, uh, the, the Grand Canyon, which I've never been to. Yeah, Grand okay, Canyon. You know, valleys, mountains, all these things that God created and they're just completely beautiful. That I, To think that I'll never be able to see them again probably hurts more than... Not I mean, you see them, but it's no color on it. Yeah, it don't look nice. But, but have you also have you also okay? You say you you have you seen sights that you wouldn't trade for anything, but they made you feel a certain way. But have you had that with food? That like you have tasted something you were like, Jesus, this is out of this world. I would I would like like let's say it's, it's, it's your grandmother's recipe. Your mom cooks like your best food that just hits. Here you go, son, and you gain. Don't taste that. That just that is tough. I have, but I feel like the emotions are different. From the views I've seen, I feel like there there are moments that stimulated more in my mind. When the food I've tasted more just stimulated my body to where it was like it was just like temporary <laughs> satisfaction. This <laughs> 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 tastes yeah. Yeah, 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 I get it. Yeah. So the, yeah. so I would stay I, I would stay with my sights. All right, yeah. I would never be able to uh, taste again. But okay, we're gonna get into our next segment. One gotta go, uh, rapper edition. Last time we did food, and there was only three options. This time we're doing rappers, and we're gonna be talking about four of them, and one of them has gotta go. So, the four rappers I have are Lil Wayne, Drake, Kanye West, and Kendrick Lamar. So. I, th I think we should do this the same way we did the first time, Thanks. which is uh, we should all say the first one we're keeping for sure, and then we go into it until there's a decision between two left, and we see which one we're left. We fight, fight it out. Yeah, we fight it out. We make people look stupid. <coughs> but, okay, so I'll go first. The first out of these four that I'm <laughs> keeping is Lil Wayne. I was a huge, huge Lil Wayne fan back in my day. Huge. And the the music he put out from God, what were the years like? Dude, I was early two uh, mid two thousands till early two thousand tens. That music was bust. <laughs> that, that was every song he put out, every mixtape. My favorite album would probably be the Carter Two. Car, I love the Carter Three Two, the Drought Three. God, no ceilings. He was my favorite rapper. Now I don't listen to as much rap as I used to. I hardly listen to it at all. But just all the memories I have from Lil Wayne, I have to keep him for sure. <coughs> what about you? Um, the art, the, the the one I'd keep would be Kendrick Lamar, uh, main, mainly because I mean I just like all of his uh, all of his albums. Like each album is different in their own way. Um, I feel like, um, and they all. They're just really good. And like, even though they're like different, um, his style, I don't know, like the way he style, like uh, the the content of the song is all the same, but it's just different. I don't know. It's just, and it's really good. And I just like Kendrick Lamar. So I keep him for sure. Okay. Excuse me. Facts, that boy, uh, Kendrick Lamar. That's a fact. <laughs> uh, the good kid, Matt City, he got his own sound to it. Uh, to Pimp a Butterfly, it's more jazzy. It's yeah. fire. Um, yeah. His recent album, Down. Down. That's 
really that's more of a mainstream <laughs> album, but it's really good. It's, <laughs> it's really, really, really good. The Black really Panther good. album too. Well, like that he too. did, yeah. No, the sound, yeah, the soundtrack, soundtrack yeah. Black Untitled Panther Unmastered. Yeah. Have you heard about that? That's that's a good one too. Which one? Um, Untitled Unmastered. It's like his tracks that weren't on uh, To Pimp Butterfly. Um, so Those are like his side, okay. but there. Yeah, his whole. It's actually, his whole thing. <laughs> Him, <clears throat> um, that's a key for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyways. No, oh, I don't think he listens to, to rap. Who knows? I mean, from what you know. <clears throat> from Lil Wayne. I mean, yeah. Wayne. That's the one I'm keeping is Lil Wayne. Because uh, that's the only rapper. I don't know. It don't look like he used to yeah. like Lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> Lollipop. Lollipop. That's all loud. <laughs> I would say Dwayne. Okay. Uh, Miss Officer? <sighs> Mrs. Officer. Dwayne had way too many hits. Then let's go back for the second one. What second one are you keeping? Okay. Oh, so quick, what were the last things? Names? Lil Wayne, Drake, Kanye Drake. West, and Kendrick Lamar. Okay, Drake and Kanye, I would... I would say Drake, because I don't know any of Kanye that I can think of. Jesus Walks? Jesus Gold Digger Gold Digger <laughs> <laughs> oh, So Drake Run away yeah, I don't even nice. think I know many of Drake's either But Drake I, 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 I think I remember more na- Drake, Drake's name coming up okay. Back when I was a kid yeah. Back when I was 12 okay. I was younger. Caesar. Um, Second one I had to stick with Kanye um, if you watch the first episode, you know I'm a Kanye fan, so I keep that boy. I keep that boy. He, he built different. Kanye <laughs> 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 got issues. He do. Um, I'm gonna go with Drake, simply because I, mean, I just like Drake. He's just a good artist. He makes make good music. He has a lot of even when, like yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. He just yeah, he just makes good music. Uh, and then when he features some other stuff like. Uh, when he features another uh, like songs too, he's really good. So I'm keeping Drake. That's how Wayne used to be. Wayne used to be on every every hit song that was on the radio. Wayne was either on the remix yeah. or on the remix. <laughs> Back when they did remixes. Every. He still remixes got it though. He used to go hard, bro. He used to get so hyped for a remix. When you would hear DJ Khaled screaming, you knew it was gonna have at least like five on his song. <laughs> Young Money. <laughs> okay. How about um, you? Second for me, Kanye. Kanye. Kanye's discography is yeah. crazy. I, I said it on the first podcast too. Uh, Kanye is a person is the horrible. <laughs> Can't stand Kanye. Old but Kanye was. Chill. I like the old Kanye. Chill. But I mean, his the discography old. from old even to new. I'm I'm not sure if y'all listen to it, but I like the Jesus is King. I yeah, like yeah. that. I liked that album. I thought I thought some of the songs in there were fire. Close on Sunday. Yeah. Keep my cheek on that one day. <laughs> 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 but, but Jesus King, uh, Late Registration. Graduation to this day is one of my favorite albums. Graduation had so many hits on it. Uh, it had Stronger. Mm-hmm. Uh, it had like even songs that people Flashing don't even know about it. Life of Pop. <laughs> that people don't know about so much like Barry Bonds with Lil Wayne. Mm-hmm. had that on there. <laughs> Man, Graduation was one of my favorite albums. But yeah, I'm, I'm keeping yeah, Kanye really, that's for sure. A good, that's a good album. I'm keeping Kanye for yeah. sure. Uh, number three. Man, okay, so I'm down. I'm left with Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Unpopular opinion, and I'll preface this by saying the last five to almost, not, not ten years, but five, six, seven years, I haven't really listened to rap the way I used to, if at all. So... I've heard To Pimp a Butterfly. I've heard Good Kid, Mad City. I think those are great albums. But when I was listening to music, I was more in tune to Drake. And this is kind of a brag for me, but um, <laughs> I, I, I heard Drake before he, he blew up. I remember uh, gotcha. so, far, <laughs> so Far Gone uh, and uh, uh, October Zone. I remember hearing him off like these mixtapes I would download off a website called Datpiff. I would, <laughs> I would uh, download these mixtapes on there that were, they would put out like the new music that was coming out. 
I remember hearing him before he was on the radio, before anybody was talking about him, and I thought, man, this guy is fire. And then literally not long after, I didn't hear when he was first rapping, but not long after I heard him, um, he signed with Lil Wayne, and that's when he started really blowing up. So, I mean, throughout the years, I've heard a lot, a lot of Drake. So, yeah. so I'm keeping Drake over Kendrick. Even now, Drake is, is, just keeps dropping albums, like really good albums. Yeah. So he still has another album coming yeah. out soon. Drake, I feel like Drake is a new Wayne. He's mm-hmm. everywhere, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess. Uh, so you're dropping? I'm, I have to drop Kendrick. <clears throat> Dang, that's. I mean, that's tough. That's tough you. for you. That's yeah, you. yeah, that's yeah, tough yeah. on you, bro. Yeah, it's not uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would go with. I'm dropping. I'm dropping Wayne. Um, because I because when you put. I mean, I'm going with. Kanye, I'm going with Kanye. No, I'm like, I love, I love Wayne. I love Wayne. I love a lot of his like music and stuff. Like, uh, you know, Patricia? Well, yeah. <laughs> Real G's moving sounds kind of like, like lasagna. lasagna. Yeah. No, like. I respect that though. No, like, I, I, I'm going big because Kanye is just, Kanye just like, I don't know. It's Kanye. Oh, you are left That's Wayne one. Kanye. Yeah, I'm left with Wayne and Kanye. And I, I, I Wayne, yeah. I like most of his old stuff more than I like most of his new stuff. Although I do That's like, uh, like what's this? It was mahogany, and then there was the other one with the the last one he had on Could have Carter Five. Oh, uh, funeral? No. Oh, uh, Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa too. Yeah, that yeah. was a good see. Like see, with Lil Wayne and Kendrick, and he's also a Green Bay Packers fan, and I'm a Green Bay, and he came out with two Green Bay Packers songs already. So I love Wayne. When but when you say real quick, when you say old Wayne. What what's old Wayne to you? Because like those well, new I, albums like Carter yeah. Five and that like I haven't even heard those. No, oh, no, I'm thinking like, because he did Rebirth, I'm guessing like before, like that. Was that the Carter 4? Before the Carter 4, yeah, I think so. Rebirth? Because that's like more of a rock EP, like experimental. That was, I remember when that was New Wayne. Yeah. When that was like recent Wayne. That, yeah, that's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, to me, that's like old Wayne. That's old Wayne? Yeah. So, because like now he's just like, I don't know, he's just changed so much. But so I'm gonna, He I'm still gonna, got it, but it's just different the way. Yeah, he like he came out with a new song too, with Drake too. That sounds like his old stuff, but I'm gonna go with Kanye simply because Kanye's just like, I can't go He's one of a kind. Dark Twisted Fantasy. Like that album is like, yeah, that album. is good. Like he just has Power very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just in the power in the gym, bro. <laughs> Like, yeah. Yeah, in a new so yeah, so like you can't go you, like Kanye yeah. is just uh, he's you can't go wrong with Kanye, bro. Um, um, I'm left with Lil Wayne and Drake. So whenever uh we leave one out, does that mean their whole music and everything is gone? Or just just theirs, not around? the people, not anything they impacted or influenced. Because if there was no Wayne, I mean, I'm pretty sure Drake, Drake would have found a way. But, but yeah, but Lil Wayne inspired other artists too. That yeah. So you whole, you're, whole you're, generation. Yeah, yeah. So you're you're not losing the generation and the influence. You're just so losing just his music. You're just losing all his music, and all his features. Yeah. Yeah. Lil Wayne used to be such a cultural. I, I remember yeah. people in middle school, like kids in middle school, like he like he would wear like skinny jeans before he was skinny jeans. Truck fit. The, the glasses or that didn't yeah. have the frames. Like Lil Wayne he just did things. He started yeah, a wave. Yeah, yeah. He started he something. He so. was a trendsetter. <laughs> um. So between Lil Wayne and Drake. I listened to Lil Wayne back in uh, middle school. Um, I stole my cousin's um, iPod. Uh, he had a bunch of Lil Wayne on that thing. I just jammed to that <laughs> thing all day. So much music. Yeah. So I think I started music. in sixth grade with Lil Wayne. But Drake is just different, bro. He has a lot of hits. He's like, yeah. <clears throat> he's yeah. a top artist of my generation. He's like the number one. Mm. So I have to stick with that dude. He has a I bunch of songs. Both the other drop on Wayne. That's yeah. crazy. The old yeah. dad. I mean, I guess an old head now. That makes me feel older, but yeah, man. Yeah. I guess that makes me old too, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, because I was dropping the Kendrick. He doesn't even guy know. Guy too, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that guy. Yeah, he just got canceled, the Kendrick guy. <laughs> <laughs> that Kendrick kid. <laughs> something else. <laughs> His music is nothing like they used to make it. Uh... Yeah, so I guess I'm keeping Kanye just the same person I've kept every other other one because I have his name. That's the only name I've heard of. <laughs> so, the only name I haven't heard of is that uh, Kendrick guy. So that's fair. That's fair. All Poetic time. justice. No. Poetic, Poetic justice. Drink. Sit down. Drink. Drink. Yeah. Uh, 
Swimming pools. Swimming pools. But okay. Well, Dan, so Daniel mentioned Lil Wayne being a Green Bay Packer fan. I, he's, he's been repping the Packers forever. We already forever, know. Forever. Go Pack Green Go. Yellow, Green Green and yellow. Yellow. Uh, but speaking of the Packers, they're going to be in the NFC Championship game. Against the Bucks. Against the GOAT. The Bucks. The GOAT and Tampa Bay. Don't you even. Tampa Bay is going against the GOAT. First of all. And the Green Bay Packer defense. Put some respect on A. Rodgers. He better than Brady. Talent wise. At least talking to you. Oh, talent wise? Yeah. Talent wise. He's a better QB. So, but we're, overall. I, I want to make one point. <laughs> what? No, he's not. Yeah. So, I, I want to make one point before we get into our picks. Right. <laughs> Me growing up, have seen, I've seen Tom Brady for as long as I can remember. I saw Aaron Rodgers when he first came into the league up until now. I've never seen a better thrower, and this includes Patrick Mahomes. I've never seen a better thrower of the ball than Aaron Rodgers. Facts. Aaron Rodgers was throughout my life was the only QB if he was playing against my team and he had the ball with 40 seconds left the only QB where I would say 40 seconds is too much let him know which I, team you're repping I, I, I'm a Cowboys fan but 2016 <laughs> but, yeah but, but not only 16. that not only that 17. but any team he would go against just his I've never seen anybody thread the needle like Aaron Rodgers make the throws he's make just pinpoint accuracy yeah. I've I, th- I think about Aaron Rodgers, and I talk about Aaron Rodgers, how old heads, real old heads, talk about Dan Marino. Because yeah. they say Dan Marino's probably the best thrower of the football. But, yeah. But with that being said, even though Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback I've seen when it comes to passes and games and, and just all that, you can't knock Brady. Brady's just... And I, I'm not... I'm not a, I don't like the Patriots. I'm not a Patriot hater. I don't like the Patriots. Tom, I mean, I respect him, but I'm not like a Tom Brady fan. Mm-hmm. But he's the goal. Six he, rings. Yeah. Six yeah, but like, like, wins is a uh, is a team thing. It's not yeah. like a personal thing. It, yeah. it is like your own individual. It definitely is. But I think so I think that kind of sets it aside. Yeah. I think, but for the most part, okay. every every team that's like. Aaron Rodgers, he's had a good team. Yeah, he's, he's had, had really good teams, but he's only got one Super Bowl. Yeah, and I, I think the the biggest argument between you know is it Belichick, is it Brady, you know who brings more, is it 50 yeah. 50? I've always thought, man, I I always thought it was more Belichick, mm-hmm. but after this year, it's yeah. Brady. Bro. That's sure? the thing. That's the thing I wanted to point out is that I was like, oh, you know, they have six rings. Tom Brady's only had six rings because they had a good team overall. But then now him coming to the Bucks. He still has a good team. The Bucks were seven and nine though. Yeah, they, like they, they, they were lost. They were, bro. Look at their they, were, they stacked up they now. Stacked. But um, the way they were playing, the thing is, like one of the coaches, the coaches Plus, for the Bucks said Winston. he get, he like he just leaves like Brady to do his own thing. Like he just hardly coaches. He said like he just lets Brady do it. And so I mean Brady's all the way now to the, the championship. Yeah. So if he. I mean, he's been in the system yeah, for a long if time. If he goes, if he makes it past the Packers in the Super Bowl, then I can truly accept that, you know, he's one of the greats because he did, he accomplished, you know, he, this is his first year in this team and he's already in the playoffs. Going to the championships? Okay, that, that, that that's proves hard to that, do. I'm not then lie. that proves that that's Tom Brady, so. When's the last time, and I'm a, I'm a huge <laughs> Cowboys fan. Oh, no. Love the Cowboys, but that yeah. puts it in perspective. When's the last time we were in the NFC Championship game and we had Goat Moe <laughs> I love Romo. We had Gomo. Dak Prescott was great, as much as some people would like to say eh, he, was, he was great. And we've had good teams, but we haven't even sniffed the NFC Championship. Jason game. Garrett, I'll tell you that. I mean, the, in, in football, there's always going to be reasons and excuses yeah. and, and things, but you had I, think, I think Tom Brady isn't flashy, but on paper and fundamentals, I think he's he's the greatest ever to do it. I know you guys don't we'll watch see. basketball, but I will oh. compare him to Tim Duncan. Because Tim, nobody, when everybody <laughs> talks about the GOAT to basketball, they don't talk about Tim Duncan. Is he white? But, no, he's black. Oh. You don't even know who Tim Duncan <laughs> is. No, but played. you know who Kobe is. Yeah. You know I who, you, say. You, you, you know well, who he's from old, because then Tim Duncan sounds old time. Tim Duncan played with Kobe. The same <laughs> time. The same time. You know, Kobe you, stood out. I'm you know LeBron <laughs> James. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Nowitzki, Dwayne yeah. Wade, Nowitzki. <laughs> Nowitzki. <laughs> but Tim Duncan was one of the greatest to play, but nobody really talks about him or puts him in their go conversation because it's like he's not flashy. 
Tim, what, what, what makes him? What make what for him? For you, what does he that make him the best? Why does why is he the best? I don't think Tim Duncan is the best. Okay, but I, people disrespect. People won't even put him in their top five. Some people won't even put them in, put him in their top ten, which is is crazy. He's got. I want to say, he either has four or five championships. Rings. I know he has two or three Finals MVPs. He's got two regular season MVPs. He he's just he's crazy good. He's crazy good, but he's just fundamental. Like to yeah. put it in perspective, he's he's the one. He's one of the only players you'll ever see that makes bank shots. He only mm-hmm. most of his shots are like off the backboard into the rim, oh, and okay. that, it doesn't look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's just that's like, why he's not Moody's. That, that's not the only reason, but no. you see a dude doing that all game, and it's like. Eh. He's not really dunking all the time. He's yeah. not shooting threes. But anyways, I'm getting I'm getting out of time. Way let's right. let's how how let's go back to Brady. <laughs> let's go back to our picks. Um, so we'll start with Caesar. Uh, Sergio, do you want to give your picks? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sergio's not a sports fan. So uh, we'll start with Caesar, um, and we'll start with the AFC. AFC. Who I want to win is the Bills. But I'm thinking Chiefs. Because it's Chiefs. Chiefs. So you got Chiefs. <laughs> nah, no, I got the Bills. Okay, so you got the Bills. Okay. But I know the Chiefs won. But I got the Bills. So what's your pick? Bills. Okay. But so I know the Chiefs won. <laughs> <laughs> so if, 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 if you had to put $100 on a game right now. The Chiefs. On that game. Then you have the Chiefs. Yeah, but stop saying Bills. <laughs> Bills, though. <laughs> why, 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 why Bills though? Because it's gonna be like the first time, so I'm hyped for them. The Chiefs already went last year, bro. Like, wait, wait, wait another year, and then you can go again. Let the Bills have it this year. You got, <laughs> you, you got like ten years with Patrick Mahomes, bro. Come on. But yeah, come on. I come want on, the Bills. Bro, I chance, want the bro. Bills to go. That's be dope. So you got the Bills. Yes. So you bet on the Bills. I was hundred dollars for that. That's what it okay. Was. Um. I, I, you know, I gotta go with the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs are gonna beat the Bills. The Bills are, they're not, they're not good. <laughs> I feel like they most of the it. most of the AFC. I feel like most of the AFC was just garbage anyway. So that's why, like, an average team made it to the playoffs on that side. But you know, that's why NFC, Brady was the NFC successful. does have better teams. Yeah. So, and that's my point. Why Brady's not that good? Yeah. That, but all, but I mean, yeah. I guess we'll see him go up against a. a the best teams in the NFC. Yeah. This way, so yeah, I'm going with the Chiefs on Chiefs. against Bills. Chiefs. I'm going with Chiefs too. I, I would, I wouldn't mind seeing the Bills. Yeah. I, I love their their story, the hype. Yeah. I feel like them making it to the Super Bowl, like I I would be like the Cowboys making it to the Super Bowl. I do want to see There's that. There's a lot <laughs> of hype. There's a lot yeah. of hype behind it. But Patrick Mahomes is 14 and one this season. Yeah. And the games he started, 14 and one. And I mean, it doesn't sound crazy. Like if, if they told you, hey, Josh yeah, Allen yeah. was fourteen and one, you'd be like, well, <laughs> because it's Patrick Mahomes, yeah, it's yeah. like whatever yeah, he's yeah. supposed to. It's be. light work, yeah. He's supposed to be fourteen and one, but he's fourteen and one. As long yeah. as the concussion <laughs> hasn't, uh, well, did, did he ended yeah, up having a concussion? He right? had a concussion, but he's cleared for to play. They already, they already announced it. Like, the game. <laughs> so them trying to get Patrick back into the game. <laughs> they just rolled things on his head and like, all right, bro. Hey, yeah. I'm back up there. But man, if he's if he's anywhere near 100, percent I got Chiefs winning. Yeah. Okay. So let's go back this way with NFC. So in the NFC, mm. I got Bucks, and I'll tell you why. One reason, Tom Brady. You can't. I cannot bet. And, what sucks is these are the two quarterbacks in my life I I would hate to bet against is Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady, but I, I have to take Tom. I believe in Tom. I trust Tom. I, I think when you're talking about Tom Brady in the playoffs, he's just he's way too clutch. He's way too just consistent to bet against. But it, it it'll be hard. If I had to put money on it, I'd, I'd put money on the Bucks. Well, I'm going to go for my team, the Packers. One of the main things, uh, well, Antonio Antonio Brown is out for the Bucks, so I feel like Tom Brady doesn't really have that much weapons. But I mean, I don't know. He has a he has, yeah, too, he's stacked. Bro. Like that offense is still. And stacked. they didn't use Antonio Brown like yeah. that this year. And they gave I mean, him like two passes. I mean, the Packers offense is already pretty. It's a it's the number one offense in the in the league. It is. So efficient. yeah, so it's like 
They, had, you know, both with offenses. So now I'm just relying on the defense, which we had. A, we've had a pretty good defense, I think. <laughs> I don't know how the the Bucks defense is, so I'm just. Um, I just I feel like we have a good team. Our defense is doing pretty good. Jerry Alexander is like, he's blocking everything. Jerry Smith yeah. is killing it. Like you know, every like just we we're, we're killing it on defense, and I feel like that's what's gonna get us this dub. I feel like this game's gonna be a shootout, bro. Just no defense, bunch of offense, like forty <laughs> like the something. Like the Rams and the Chiefs, Rams yeah, and Rams and Chiefs. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be a like high okay. scoring game. Um, I go for Rogers. I believe in that boy. Yeah. That's a bad man. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers, he's something else, man. And he has that pressure now that they 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 uh, drafted that quarterback, Jordan Love. I forgot. Aaron Rodgers is man. like, if I go out, I gotta go out with an extra ring. So I feel like that's you know that's like, what's pushing him. That's what's pushing him this <laughs> this season. Yeah. I think. All right, but any Super Bowl predictions? Yeah, well, I mean, we can give our picks next week, but I mean, with our with our picks this week, we pretty much got it. I I got Bucks and Chiefs in the Bucks Super Bowl. Chiefs. Yeah, I got Bucks Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Brady against Mahomes, which would be which would be awesome. If Mahomes wins. I feel like it's it'd be a new era. Like, it'd be yeah, definitely yeah. a new era, it's like a Mahomes defining era. moment of the yeah, Chiefs. Mahomes era, yeah. Is one hundred percent taking the torch. Yeah. If Brady wins. Seven rings, bro. That's just to one man, yeah. like bro, go stupid. Home, bro. Go home. Retired, stupid. Seven <laughs> rings, go home. And, and he beats the best quarterback in the league right now. I, that it'd be Brady just saying, you know, forget everybody who doubted me, everybody who doubted me. To, to, and to take a, a whole different team to the Super Bowl. He's gonna be pointing at me. He's gonna be pointing straight up. <laughs> he's gonna be he's gonna be texting Belichick at night. <laughs> You miss up, me, girl? <laughs> hey, you missed me? You gotta come back? <laughs> you up? Um, but yeah, I mean. Who do you, so you have Packers and. Packers and Chiefs. So Packers, Chiefs. I think it'd be good. Uh, I think it'd be a good game for the Allstate or State Farm. The State Farm? Uh, Aaron Rodgers and uh, Patrick Mahomes. I'm investing that stock uh, right now. The facts. Facts. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like. I feel like Patrick Mahomes is like a like a smaller version or like a younger version of Aaron Rodgers. Um, so I feel like it's uh, it's like seeing Aaron Rodgers, you know, to me like like so it'd be like a legend, or whatever, and going up against someone like like a younger version of him. So like seeing him play against himself kind of in a way in my head. So it'd be kind of cool to see uh, that pressure of, of Patrick Mahomes. Going against you know Green Bay, another great quarterback. So it did that pressure on him. That'd be pretty cool. I'm sorry, but I feel like uh, Patrick Mahomes is a little bit overhyped since he's he started oh, yeah. in Kansas. He's had this amazing team, bro. Tyreek, Travis, the Chiefs always Sammy, have. Yeah, they've the always Chiefs, had an amazing yeah, team. And if you put, I feel like if you put any other quarterback in there, he, 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 they can win. They can win. He's great. He he's amazing, but the team around him does. All right, I got a question. I got a question for Caesar. Hmm. If they okay, totally out of the park, right? Totally random question. They put Dak Prescott in the Chiefs right now. Super Bowl. He's oh my, oh <laughs> six in a row. Six in a row. Book it. You you really think yeah. Dak Prescott would take that team to the playoffs? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Heck, heck playoffs. Yeah. Playoffs. Yeah. Playoffs. Yeah. playoffs? <laughs> you take that's, that's like the better question uh, is would he take him to the Super Bowl? That's a better question. I'd be like, hey, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Patrick Mahomes already did. Dak's already taken his team two out of three years. His last, his fourth year didn't count because all was, winning records. Was Don't forget yep, that. All winning records, two out of three years. Yeah, but Jai, Jai had like the first round pick for like if, if, if ten years. Shut up. No. We just in 2015, 16. <laughs> if, if, if there's something Caesar said that I disagree with is, and I hear this a lot with like analysts and everybody talking, put anybody in in this team and they'll win. I, I don't believe in that anymore. I used to. I used to believe in it big time until Dak Prescott went out. And not even Dak Prescott until Tony Romo went out. I mean, yeah, but like, yeah, like starting QBs, not backup QBs. Like our backups, no. But, but I mean, I mean like I, I, I've heard people say. 
put Teddy Bridgewater in Dallas oh, and then they're, they're going to the no. NFC Championship. No, I'm like, you're not. stupid. No, not. You're no, stupid. Not. I think quarterbacks mean a lot more than than what some people you may think. Yeah. But and whenever I say I'm um, in a QB, I don't mean like Teddy Bridge, Andy yeah. Dalton. No, not that type of QB. The, no, like any the, starter. The, the good. starter, good starters. <laughs> like a Those. top, you put any top 15 Joe Flacco. Top 15 QB put Joe in Flacco in there. Put Andrew Luck in there. Put that boy back from retirement. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, no. no. But yeah, you know, not like any top. Kirk, oh, put Kirk Cousins in Dallas and the, the Chiefs? I don't know about that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Perk Cousins. <laughs> oh, <I'm a> perk. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, that's enough football talk. Enough. Uh, Sergio's enough. falling asleep. <laughs> well, let's get into our next segment, which is going to be... This is for sure going to be a running segment. Uh, it's a game I came up with uh, called Mount Rushmore. So, I mean, for people who don't know, Mount Rushmore is... Uh, God, what's the name of that? A landmark... Uh, in, in the U.S. that has four of our greatest uh, presidents' faces carved into it. Which is Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Joe. Joe. Jo- Mama. <laughs> Joe is Mama. But, uh, <laughs> That's three already. <laughs> but, so, um, it has four of our greatest presidents carved into it. And the reason why I call this game, or this segment, Mount Rushmore is because we're going to be looking at different topics, uh, different categories, actually, and we're going to be saying what we put into our Mount Rushmore of that category. So we can only choose four. Our top four. Yeah, our top four of that category. That's it. And we're putting it on each one of our Mount Rushmores. So uh, the way we can do it is one by one. We'll do it one by one. So since Sergio has been talking no. this entire time, Bro, we're going to start with those. Sergio. The category for this week's Mount Rushmore is going to be Pixar movies. Not DreamWorks, not uh, Disney, the but bit. even though Disney owns Pixar now, it's but Pixar. Pixar movies. So which one are you going with as your first one? Pixar? Pixar. Nemo. That's, That's it. <laughs> and why? Oh. <laughs> oh, because it's sad. I think that's the only Pixar movie he knows. I think so. We owned it, yeah. We Monsters owned it. Inc. Um, the Incredibles. Shrek? No, that's, that's no, no. No, that's DreamWorks. No, but Nemo, because I like the story, it's so long as, you know, it's a family friendly movie. You know, I watched it when I was young, when I was a kid with my family, and it was friendly. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, it's a cute little story. It's, you know, you remember Nemo. Nemo is Nemo. Touch the butt. That's, touch the butt. That's, so Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I see which one you going with. We name it one by one? Yeah, one by one. Um all the movies flew out of my head. <laughs> you were I know, I named it. Name of you? It's yeah. I know it's Nemo, uh, Finding Nemo, Monsters Inc. Toy Stories are up there. Uh Up, Inside Out, Coco. Soul. Is it cool Soul I look is it up? on there? Uh yeah, Soul is on there, Onward. Is on there. Onward. Onward. Onward is that new movie that came out last year with the brothers. Did y'all even watch it? It de- debuted on Disney Plus. It's a great movie. Um, I'd say. Plus. A Bug's Life is on there. Damn. Cars. Wally. I'd say Toy Story. Monster House. Toy Story, the first one. The whole series. No, you only choose one. But that's no, part of them one. though. No, no, no. You got Which one? one? I think all, all four Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think have you seen any? I've seen all of them. I'd say Toy Story 3. That's my favorite one. Facts, baby. That's my favorite one. Facts. That's the one with the purple bear, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Toy Story 3. That's... Lots of lots Yeah. I, I almost cried whenever the Boy. game get burned in trash. Oh my god. I the real one's cried. I, the real one's cried. I thought that was gonna die for real. But yeah, that's, <laughs> that's my top four. Or, or one of my top four Toy Story 3. Okay. Then um no, top one? Uh, it doesn't have to be in order. It's just one of your top four. Oh, Wally. Well, that's that. that Wally. That's some. That's, that's a good movie. movie. I, 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 that's, that's my favorite movie. So, <laughs> Wally. Overrated. 
<laughs> Unpopular opinion. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into that. But, um, I would go with. I'm, I'm gonna stick with Sergio on this one too. I'm gonna go Finding Nemo. Uh, there are lines to that movie that I still remember to this day. I still quote to this day. I think it was one of my favorite Pixar movies coming out. I love the story, even as an adult. Uh, you know what? What's crazy? I'm not sure if you guys have seen it lately, but when when I was a kid watching that movie, I would I would always see it from the perspective of Nemo. Mm-hmm. But as an adult, I look at the, the perspective Marlins. of Marlin, yeah, more during that movie. And I, I think it's great that they did that. They kind of based the story around both of them, but it was relatable to both kids and adults. Yeah. And man, plus it, I, I remember when Marlin thought Nemo died. Yeah, now that you mentioned it, looking back, I think I remember watching it, I mean, through Marvel's perfection. Like, yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think I, about, like, I Nemo's perfection, him being abducted. I just I watched the movie, bro. As, as they're like, finding Nemo. I'm just, I'm just enjoying the movie. Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't that easy to it. I ain't get too deep into it. <laughs> I was just watching it for fun, bro. All right, well, you're going to go back now. This way, I'm going to go with my number two, uh, Monsters, Inc. The Which one? one? The Monsters Monster University Inc. was great, too. I'm not going to lie. A lot of people think it was trash. It was pretty good. But it was good. I really yeah. like Monsters University too. But no, I gotta go with the original one. The OG. Monsters Inc. Just so much nostalgia in that movie. Uh, got the story around Boo and all that. It was cute. It was a real cutie movie. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, um, I would go with Coco. I was just thinking about it. Because, you know, it has that Mexican. Uh, it's, it's, it's cultural, yeah. It's just cultural. So. It really does take me back, and you know, it's a, it's a comfort movie, I guess. Uh, just seeing a lot of things that I relate to, or like things that I even Day that I've actually learned, yeah, that I learned from like my culture. culture. And everything. Yeah. So it was, a, it was a really nice movie, and you know, it's uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's culturally. It's a good one. It's a good yeah. One. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, for me, I, I think I'm gonna have to go with Wally. That's a, a good movie. that's a good one. I think it was one of the first few ones I watched. It was from like Nemo, The Incredible, mm-hmm. and all that. I think it was one of the first ones I ever watched was Wally. Well, that's a good movie. That's a really good movie. It shows a lot. It shows a lot about society. <laughs> no, <I'm pretty laughs> yeah. 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 Wally. Um, I would go, he was about to mention that The Incredibles. Uh, Incredibles was also a great movie. Which I one? didn't really. The OG one. The OG, yeah. I don't remember any sad parts on it, but it was just a good film. Yeah, it was, it was uh, sad. Action. Maybe at the end they were trying to steal the baby, but it was like, eh. pretty <laughs> funny. It was, a, it was just a good film. Mm. Uh, pretty detailed, pretty, you know, pretty, pretty on point. For for that time, that those animations. Yeah, that geez, animation was, was, was great. The way yeah, Frozen yeah, would move. Yeah. So, With the swagger of. <laughs> <laughs> the swagger of Marlon Wayne. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Uh, what the fuck? Is it? <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. Alright, what about number three? Oh crap, we're coming back. Uh, <laughs> a little dinosaur. Uh, <laughs> the good dinosaur. Bad dinosaur. I never saw it. I guess I would either go with Toy Story or. Uh, what was the other one? I guess Mon- I'll go with Monster Thing for number three. Uh, you know, script film as well. Good. Laugh. Uh, <laughs> and uh, pretty cute. Pretty cute. Pretty, pretty cute. Yeah, I think, I, yeah, Monsters <laughs> Inc. is definitely top three for me as well. Mm-hmm. It's just, uh, you can watch it over and over again. So, yeah. you don't get bored. Mike was asking. Right, the receptionist? Mike. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's got a dumb truck, bro. I think it's about to Hey, guys. <laughs> she like that? <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, my t- my number three is Soul. That movie is really yeah. already. Yeah, that's a good movie. I, I haven't even seen it. <laughs> I haven't seen it, but I've heard oh, it's really good. Oh, it's, really, it's really good movie. Really good. Yeah, I mean, I just like the animations. Like, like they really put detail into it. It's a it has a good story to it. It has a good meaning, like a like a, what's it called? Yeah, like a theme or plot. Yeah, it was really good. Um, I like a lot. Like they put really they put a lot of thought and detail into it. So. That's why I like it. I was like, it kept me. I was like, did they put their soul into it? I Louis, if you like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad. Awesome. <laughs> that was horrible. That was horrible. <laughs> I'll 
I'll take that one for the same. <laughs> It's exactly like, huh? Uh, uh, uh. Nothing? Come on. Nothing? 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 <laughs> nothing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> number, number three for me <laughs> is uh, uh, Toy, Toy Story 3. Toy Story 3. Um, I mean, it speaks for itself. And what Caesar said, it, it was a great one. I think Lotso was a good villain. God, when, he, when they saved him at the end, and that then they asked him for help, and he, I was like, I hate this guy, bro. Yeah. This dude's an animal. I'm like, bro, just let him drop, bro. Don't let him. But yeah. Yeah. It was he left heart, him. Heartwarming. Oh, my God. He left the baby, bro. Yeah, no. That was, was sad, bro. Crazy, like, at the end, because it's, oh, it's a kid's film, you think, okay, he's going to have a change of heart and save them back. And he said, and nah, nah, He said, nah, bro. bro. I'm sticking to my way. Deuce. And he left him there, man. I, I almost cried at that furnace scene. And again, it was a kids' movie. You know they're not gonna kill anybody off. But even just watching them holding hands and just coming one. to that acceptance of man, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna burn here, man. It was tough. It was tough. <laughs> uh, then, number four. Did you yeah. want to say your? Four? No, no. My number four. I w- I'm. I kind of want to go up. But the only or thing I'm down. So bad. The only, re- the only reason I'm not going up is because um <laughs> <laughs> it's because going down. Yeah, you're going down. You're holding it up. <laughs> but you're holding but it up. The the best thing about the movie up that I love was the the first scene. Where oh. it's him and, and, and the girl yeah. meeting and then growing all together and her dying. That was the best part to me. After that, I was like, man. Eh. That was a really good scene. But that, that first scene was yeah. amazing. Amazing. Yeah. But I'm going to go with Coco. I'm going to go with Coco. Um, I, I think it, it really hit a lot of uh, the, the Mexican and Hispanic values. Yeah. Uh, like fam- It went deep the into family. like family. Yeah. Um, the story behind it. Uh, you know, the fact that the, I forgot what his name was, but the dude ended up being his dad. That was yeah. crazy. Yeah, it That's was a, a really process. good twist. Uh, I thought it was a great movie. I thought Coco was a real, real game changer. Plus, oh my <laughs> God. I think gang. At, at, at the end, when he's when he's going up to uh, his grandma Coco and trying to remind oh, her yeah. and play the song. Yeah, boy. Then. I called my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Remember we gave one. I was like, "Yo, let me sing a song for you one time." <laughs> for the one time. Hey, you did it. All right. Uh, so that's my uh, my fourth is uh, this was a this one's like off the wall. This one's like the best one. Ratatouille. <laughs> How you know? Like, <laughs> Ratatouille. Yeah, yeah Ratatouille. <laughs> nah. <laughs> it's a it's a good movie. Yeah, it's. Um. Yeah, I just like Ratatouille. I, it's just, I mean, out of all the like the other ones, I mean, I would say Inside Out, but I, that is the closest Inside one that gets great to. Too. Yeah, Inside Out. Oh man, with the with the, with the, with the bear, he's like, <laughs> But that's. Uh, but I'm gonna have to go with uh, Ratatouille Simply because it's just a classic. You can't go wrong with Ratatouille. Well, like it's just. <laughs> well, <laughs> best scene in Ratatouille when uh, when he throws up. When the rat throws up in oh. the mouth, of the... Oh. <laughs> it's all yeah, I barely remember that. I barely remember that movie. That's what, oh, that, that's what I was thinking. Uh, that's actually what I was thinking when you were talking about the... The, the you rather lose your... The colors and taste. Oh, like yeah. how whenever he, he tasted the, the ratatouille and like it took him back to his childhood. Oh. And like his family and stuff. And like you see the fireworks going off. But I was like, you rather I lose that? It. I oh. That. oh. Ratatouille number four. <laughs> um, I think I'd go with Nemo. I've watched that movie. I don't know how many times I've watched it a lot, but it's a good old reliable movie to go back to and just watch with the kids. I mean, I don't have kids, but if you do, with the kids, with the kids. <laughs> he just picks up random. Nemo. <laughs> 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 brings the finding Nemo to me. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, it's my top four. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would go with a uh, cars. No, I'm just kidding. Cars. Ka-chow. Ka-chow. No, it's gonna be know. between <laughs> Toy Story or Inside Out. Uh, Inside Out slept uh, on. Yeah, Inside Out's a really good movie. Uh, 
so the uh, ending. So uh, Shinjo can relate to the sad blue. Soul. One. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, so Soul goes hand in nice. hand with Inside Out. Oh, I, just, I, I like Onward. I haven't seen Onward. I've never heard of her. Yeah. We don't have Disney Plus. Uh, I guess go classic with Toy Story. Whichever one you want to pick, you know what I mean? Pick out of the four. The fourth one? <laughs> so I'm not going to lie, bro. Whichever one? Whichever one. So Toy Story 2? I don't Story care. One. I don't remember. Toy I Story cried in all four of them. So, uh, Toy Story. That's all I got to say. It's better than me than two. So, uh, Toy Story. Uh, Toy Story, that's it. Uh, any of the four? Uh, any of the four? <laughs> Just toss it in the bag. Throw it in there. So Toy Story is in there. Wow. Wow. Was that better than mine or was it worse? I can't tell. Do you like it? (laughs) (laughs) Do you even like the movies? No, I really did though. I really cried on all four. In, in, in the second one, it was probably the Jesse scene. Uh, probably. I don't remember Jesse. the second one at all. I don't remember. I got <laughs> all of combined into one. That's why I'm like, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. What I don't know what happens in the other sure. games. <laughs> <laughs> was that the scene you read it? Was it the, was it the Jesse? James. Or was it the James? <laughs> Alright, y'all. That's gonna conclude uh, this episode of Got Caught Thinking. Make sure to subscribe, comment, like, comment. If there's something you guys want comment us to up. talk about, yeah, comment down below. I will touch any subject. Uh, comment how much uh, you dislike this dude right here, or you know something. Yeah, what I do. What you want us to talk about? Comment you know, how unfunny Caesar was this episode. It was kind of funny, bro. Come on. <laughs> that, bro. Like, but, all right, we'll catch y'all next time. Yeah. Huh. Nah, nah. Look at all the giggles out.